So today we are going to be tackling one of the most classic summer problems there is. And what is that you ask? Trying to, trying to get sunscreen properly on your back so that you're safe when you go to the beach. Cause we all know that problem of trying to like somehow rub it all over your back and you know there's always gonna be a part that you miss. So using 3D printing, mold making, and a little bit of electronics, we are going to solve that today. But first, I think we should get some recommendations on someone that knows everything about beach safety. And of course, I'm talking about David Hasselhoff. Bruh. Cause he was on the original Baywatch. And I was a lifeguard too once, so I feel like we have this connection. So let me find him on Instagram. David Hassel, David Hasselhoff. As a former world-class lifeguard, what is the best method for putting on sunscreen across your back by yourself? And send. So we're gonna have to check back in later to see if he gives us his official method. But in the meantime, let's go build that invention. So the very first image that popped into my head when I had this idea was a paint roller. You know, just like one that you would use in your house, instead we would use it on our back to reach all of the nooks and crannies and get the sunscreen everywhere. But then I thought that would just be way too boring. And I sort of have a specialty of making a whole bunch of weird things with silicone replicas of my very own hand. Like take the cob quickie for example. This is for buttering corn, you put a little piece of butter in there, and then you can super simply butter your corn. Insert clip here. My newest invention here is called the Cob Quickie. Hands down the easiest way to butter your corn on the cob on a hot summer day. Okay, be real with me. If I mass produce the Cob Quickie, would you guys buy it? Let me know down in the comments. But what better way to rub in sunscreen than with my own hand? Look at that, it's an exact replica of my own hand. But picture something just to this effect spinning around and around that would be on a long pole that I would be able to rub in all of the sunscreen across my back properly. Cause it sounds extremely unnecessarily perfect to me. I think we've got it. I think we've got the final design of what I want this invention to look like. So, here's a full 360 look at what I'm thinking for this invention. Down on the bottom, this is the handle that you're gonna hold on to. And I decided to add a little bit of texture that I hope comes out looking really cool. And this long tube in the middle here is actually not gonna be 3D printed. This is gonna be a clear acrylic tube. And that way it's gonna save us a ton of time on what we have to print and it's just gonna slide into all the other pieces. Then here for the top section of the invention, we're gonna have a little hole that's gonna have an on off switch. And that way we'll be able to toggle the spinning hand on and off when we want it to be spinning or not spinning. On the end here is where the motor is gonna slide in and this piece here is gonna be embedded into the silicone hand and that is what is going to be physically spinning around and around and spreading all of the sunscreen all over my back. So let's get those started on the 3D printer and then work on our replica hand. And just a mini montage, mini 3D printer montage. Let's make ourselves a silicone hand. But, 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 but first, let's go ahead and see if David Hasselhoff got back to us. Go to my messages, nothing so far. He's a liar, look at that, it says right on there, it says typically replies instantly. That's not instant. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this message and then send it over to Pamela Anderson. Cause she was also in Baywatch as well. Okay and paste, send. Fingers crossed that we find out what the best method is. But let us go ahead and make our hand mold. And if you've been on the channel before, you know Smooth On AlgaSafe is my go-to mold making material to make a replica of my own hand. But I know I'm probably gonna make a mess, so let's go ahead and secure the area. Okay, that should be good enough. So the first thing I did was pour out the water from the mold box so I could measure out how much AlgaSafe I was gonna need. It's a one-to-one -one mixture and that was looking pretty good. I glued on the bracket and then I started mixing up the two different pieces together. Poured in the water, poured in the AlgaSafe and got my drill mixing it up real nice. Then I poured that back into the mold box and got my hand in there for about 12 minutes. Once it was hardened, I could slide my hand out and it came out looking perfect. And you can tell, see, it's much harder now. So now it's time to mix up the silicone I got my Moldstar 20T, same thing, it's an equal parts A, equal parts B. Then I got some pigment that matched my skin tone. So I got a good old big old glob of that and started mixing it up until each of the parts looked like they were completely together. And now we wait, but I think it might also be perfect timing because 
Okay, let's see, we've got the handle here and that is looking so cool so far. Then we've got the next components over here. One, two, three, and four. Then we just have the two pieces for the top section in the other blue color. Ooh, baby, this thing is looking beautiful. Let's take a closer look. On the bottom half here, we have the handle with that grip texture that I put into it. And I think it came out looking so smooth. And from there, it attaches to the acrylic tube that goes up to the top section, which I actually already installed the electronics. I just had to do a little bit of soldering to connect all the different pieces together. So I got one side of the battery attached to the motor. Then from there, I attached the other end of that to the button. And then finally, to complete the circuit, I attached the button to the other side of the motor. And so that way, when I push the button, the motor spins around and around. And I could slide that right into place. So if we go ahead and try it again right here, you hit the button, and now the motor is spinning around around and around, right where the hand is gonna go, and hopefully get all of the sunscreen across my back. So let's go ahead and demold the hand. Do a quick poke test. Pokey, 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 poke. It is fully, fully hard. Sorry. <laughs> so for this, I'm actually just gonna start peeling away at the mold and taking out some big chunks. That's the one thing with AlgaSafe is you pretty much, you might get two molds out of it, but for the most part, you're just kinda only gonna get one good one. And I think that should be enough for me to just slide this, oh yeah, right out of there. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? How does the replica look to the regular one? I bet you can't even tell right now which one is which. But, you know, the giveaway is probably the bracket that attaches to the motor. <laughs> which hopefully just perfectly fits right onto here. Maybe. Which way does it go? Okay, it's on there. It seems like it's on there pretty tight. So let's go hit the on switch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It works, oh my god, and it's so good. <laughs> it is so much better than I thought it would look. It's kind of like what's waving at you. Hello there. And so look, if we go ahead and hit the off button, it stops. If we hit the on button again, it goes again. There's only one thing we need to do now, and that is, let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away to at least Vermont's version of a beach that's on a lake. And it's a beautiful sunny day, so it's a good thing I'm gonna be able to get some sunscreen properly on my back. Let's, let's turn it on, sorry. Proper, <laughs> properly on my back. I'm unlocking like two of my biggest phobias right now. First one is filming in public. I just hate filming in public. Luckily right now it is early enough and it doesn't look like there's too many people here. And the second one is filming an invention shirtless. I mean, who wants a couple million people commenting on how I look shirtless? <laughs> so I'd be up down in the comments below to make me feel a little bit better about it. But just look at this beautiful beach. This is Lake Champlain in Burlington, Vermont. I bet you would think we're in the Bahamas right now but I'm already feeling it. My back needs some sunscreen. And I went to the store and I picked up a whole bunch of different sunscreen options for us. So now there's only one thing left for us to do. I invented the sunblock buffer, the first automatic way to rub in sunscreen across your back completely on your own. Our tropical design features a firm grip handle and ergonomic lifelike hand that rotates at the push of a single button. Then at the beach, simply grab your favorite sunblock and smother it across the hand. Flip the switch and throw it over your back so you can begin reaching and rubbing to hit every single nook and cranny until your entire back is covered and fully protected from the sun. Okay, so what do we think? I mean, it came out looking pretty damn good if I have to say so myself. The only thing I would do differently is maybe add a better motor. Cause sometimes when it was hitting my skin, it was sort of like skipping. So I think that's the only change I would make. And the only thing we need to do now is let's go ahead and check to see if we got any official recommendations on how to put sunscreen on your back. So if I go to my Instagram DMs, Pamela Anderson, nothing. Come on, Pam, what'd I do wrong? David Hasselhoff, nothing as well. Brutal, so brutal. And with that, I'm gonna go hop in the water because I'm a little hot and sweaty and covered in sunscreen from filming this invention. So I'll see you guys at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya. Thank you.